Look at the size of this mosquito, Dan. Yeah, you know, they were a uh, small bird. Here with you on the world's most boring Gonna do it like it's gonna show me doing this. Screw up the audio. Stay right. Stay right there. What is a Cobb access port V3? According to Cobb, the access port V3 is the world's best-selling, most flexible ECU upgrade solution for Porsche. Unlock power hidden within the vehicle by replacing conservative factory settings with more aggressive calibrations. Upgrade forever with off-the-shelf OTS calibrations for most bolt-on modifications. That's Cobb's definition and description of the access port V3. But that's not good enough for us. Here at Tracking Ponies, we go a little further. Let's discuss the five reasons why we choose the Cobb access port V3 for our 2016 Porsche 981 Cayman GT4. Reason number one increase performance and efficiency. I could actually stop this video right now after reason one, because this, this is everything. The access port V3 for the Porsche 981 Cayman GT4 comes pre-loaded from Cobb with several different maps. Each map is categorized into different stages, depending on what type of modifications you have done and what type of octane fuel you are running in the car. And no matter what map you choose, you can always revert to the stock ECU settings. You can see in the dyno sheet printouts, all along the power band, it's not just about adding horsepower and torque, but it's where you add the horsepower and torque. Although we will be testing the stage one mapping, we will actually be skipping stage two and going right to the access port V3 Pro Tune with fab speed. The Pro Tune level allows us to completely customize the tune, considering we are going with a catless header setup, new intake plenum, and E85 fuel. If we ever decide to unseal the engine and forge the internals, we won't have to switch to a standalone ECU. Reason number two. The method by which we are going to achieve all this extra performance and horsepower from our catless headers and exhaust system is by data logging or taking information from the engine and sending it back to fab speed so they can continue to customize the tune. The access port V3 will take all of the information from the parameters of the engine as we're driving the car. It will record that data. I can then download it off of the access port V3, send the file to fab speed, and they can begin work on tuning the ECU. This process is also called remote tuning. The access port V3 will tell fab speed, hey, they're running E85. It has a different stoic value. They're running catless headers. We can get more pressure out of the engine faster. They have a new intake plenum. We can get a larger volume of air quicker into the engine. All of these parameters will be balanced out to create a nice smooth power delivery with extra power and torque compared to the stock OEM ECU setup in the GT4. Reason number three, performance measuring, shift light, and gauges. Let's get real. No one's buying an ECU management and diagnostic tool for a shift light, gauges, or for performance data. We purchase ECU management tools for more power. That's just the bottom line. But this is the icing on the cake. The access port V3 provides a full performance suite you can capture your 60 foot time, zero to 60 time, quarter mile time, etc. You can dial in your engine RPM shift light to provide a visual indicator higher up near the steering wheel when you need to shift at your red line. And you can set a maximum of up to six diagnostic gauges on the screen so you can monitor your engine and drivetrain in real time. Reason number four. Trouble code diagnostics. I think this one gets glanced over quite a bit. If you're modifying your car to any degree, 
well, at least the engine or drivetrain. An ECU diagnostic tool is a must have, especially if you're messing with the exhaust, O2 sensors, intake, fuel, etc. For our GT4, we are taking off the catalytic converters. It's looking like this is gonna be a full track build or somewhat close. This is where the access port V3 will help us clear the Christmas tree lights that will appear on the dash after we remove the catalytic converters. This GT4 will also see a lot of track time. It will help us monitor the health of the car and let us know exactly what we need to do and when we need to do it. It will help us monitor the overall health of the car. Reason number five. Unless you want to go with a very expensive standalone ECU, I just don't see any other option than the Cobb Access Port V3. In terms of Porsche, and specifically the 981 Cayman, and even more specifically the GT4, there's really not a lot of options. I don't want to just say that's the only reason why you would select this ECU management and diagnostic tool. I still have reason to believe the Cobb Access Port V3 would still be at the top of the list, or at least in the top three. Objectively, it's a fantastic ECU management tool. It has a large color screen, it is incredibly user-friendly, it doesn't even need an instruction booklet, and the original OEM stock ECU tuning from Porsche for the 3.8 liter flat six GT4 engine. Let's not forget, Cobb is an industry leader in tuning. Since 1999, Cobb has been tuning Subarus, BMWs, Fords, Mazdas, Porsches, Mitsubishis, Nissans, and Volkswagens with excellent results. If you're watching this channel, you've heard of Cobb and you know what they can do. Even if we went to a standalone ECU, it would still be worth contacting the crew over at Cobb to find out what they could do with our modifications and a standalone ECU. Yes, they are that good. So, is it worth it? I think I've kind of already answered that question with my very biased presentation of information. Now, here's the thing. I do have one gripe with the Cobb Access Port V3. For morons like me, who are kind of clumsy sometimes, the only way I could really see to improve this product is to have an app for the phone. It would be really nice to actually have your phone set up as well. Maybe you could have two different programs running at the same time. For example, maybe the Cobb Access Port could be running a series of six gauges side by side, and maybe your phone could be running your shift light or possibly even the performance suite. I feel like with today's technology, an app could be provided and used in conjunction with the Cobb Access Port V3. Now I'm not recommending anyone use or access their phone while they're driving, but it would be nice to preload a screen on the phone and a different one on the Cobb Access Port V3 and just have them set up while you're driving. Right here, I am flashing the Stage 1 mapping into the Porsche GT4 ECU. At this moment, there are no modifications to the vehicle. This Stage 1 map is based off of 91 octane. We live in California, so that's the highest octane we can go unless we want to go to a race fuel, pump E85, or purchase our own fuel by the barrel. Let's find out how that Stage 1 map feels on the Porsche 981 Cayman GT4. tell a major difference in the throttle response and the way the pedal accelerator mapping is done it's very responsive immediately responsive that was one of my major complaints is it felt like the throttle response wasn't equivalent to how much throttle input you were giving it on the pedal all right let's take it slow through here oh it's Already, it's, you can already tell it's more potent. The way the throttle response is being mapped through the pedal is just perfect. I feel like the ratio is perfect now. Wow. Oh, this is incredible. The 
engine just feels like it has so much more spunk now. It's much more alive. And the biggest attribute I can tell immediately is the pedal accelerator mapping and how the throttle input now is a closer one-to-one -one ratio, it seems like. It feels like what I expect to put into the throttle and what I expect, how much gas I expect to give it, I feel like the car is responding to that now properly. Roll on throttle. big difference and I didn't think there would be. On throttle. Yeah, big difference. Woo! Especially in that higher RPM range. This thing really gets down in boogies in that higher RPM range. It keeps you up in that higher RPM band range. You don't lose power. It doesn't drop you down that far. It keeps you right up in that power band range. That's incredible. Wow. You really make use of all that power now. with how well this can Cobb tune because I guess you call it a can tune manages the uh, ECU software in the Porsche really maximizing uh, every, I guess maximizing everything they can for 91 octane again we're on 91 octane pump gas nothing special we get this thing on E85 we get the catless headers and exhaust system from fab speed the GT450 package and we have the intake plenum on here this thing is going to be a rocket. I mean, it's going to give the boss a run for its money. There's no question about it. Very impressed with how the management system has been overhauled in the Porsche. Again, just on the stage one mapping for the Cobb canned tune. All in all, I'm really impressed with the Cobb access port V3 and the research and development the Cobb team put into making this car feel much more alive, responsive, and just exciting. How do I feel about the Cobb Access Port V3? Great, money well spent. And yes, it's one of the only off the shelf ECU management and diagnostic tools for the Porsche GT4. So really what's there to complain about if that's your only option or one of your only options? Even if it is one of the only options, I couldn't imagine a better company to provide that option. Cobb is an industry leader. They have the experience, the resources and the research and development team to bring the best off-the-shelf tunes for Porsche, Nissan, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Ford, Volkswagen, and many other brands that I'm probably not even aware they do tunes for. As our Porsche 981 Cayman GT4 build continues, I will update you on how the Cobb Access Port V3 is supporting those modifications and how we like this ECU management tool moving forward. You are not going to want to miss this very unique Porsche 981 Cayman GT4 built. Thank you so much.